Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbler. Look what I have, a chicken. <laughs> I'm in my chicken yard today. Um, I get a lot of questions about my birds, um, about how they grow and their behavior and what it takes to grow backyard chickens. And uh, I've been doing it almost 20 years now and I continue to be fascinated by these creatures. They are pretty miraculous. And so I thought I would do a quick little tour of your average backyard chicken. So this is a Buff Orpington, that's our breed, uh, my favorite breed of backyard chicken. Um, we like them a lot, well, you can probably see in the background we have a whole bunch of them. They lay really good eggs, they're also very docile, really sweet. Okay, so first of all, the first thing you need to know about your chicken is that it is pretty much a little dinosaur. Okay, birds are very related uh, to dinosaurs, and they have lots of the similar characteristics of reptiles, even though uh, they have feathers and all this other stuff. So the first thing is you'll notice is that beak. Okay, that sharp little beak on the end of her, it is as hard as a rock. It's made of the same stuff as your fingernails, but if you look up close, it looks very much uh, like uh, some sort of talon or some sort of um, piece of a dinosaur. My favorite part of the chicken, by the way, is their feet. Okay, they have scales down them, just like uh, lizards do, just like any kind of reptile. They have these super tough pads on the bottom of their feet. So they can stand out there in the cold, they can stand out there in the heat, uh, they can scratch in mud and dirt and uh, just everything. Their feathers are pretty amazing as well. So you will notice that the chickens can't really fly. They're not a flying bird. They can jump. It helps them jump up on perches and things like that. But their feathers are really, again, the same uh, material as your fingernails uh, and your toenails, claws, talons, and all that kind of thing. But what chicken feathers can do, uh, a couple of amazing things. First of all, it keeps them waterproof. It's, uh, you've probably seen a duck, right, where the water rolls off the duck's back. Chickens aren't quite that waterproof, but they do. They, like, so she can, this, this bird can sit in the rain, okay, or scratch around in the rain, and will get wet, but underneath she has this, these little down feathers in there that you can, that keep her perfectly dry and warm, even in the rain. So the, the feathers are a protective coating. The other thing is, you see these little poofy feathers around here we're in right here? You see that? <laughs> this, those feathers are for uh, keeping eggs warm. She can regulate, she opens them up and lets more air in if she needs to cool them down. She can hunker down on them and, and keep that egg at a perfect temperature for 21 days using just her body heat and these poofy little rear end feathers right here. Back to the front here, the comb. Chicken combs are a neat thing. They come in about eight different varieties. This is a single comb. She has a nice single comb there running right down the middle of her head. Some of them are split combs. They have ones called rose combs. They have strawberry combs and walnut combs and uh, all buttercup combs, all these other shapes, but there's about eight of them. So what does it do? What is a, what is a comb there for? Well, it's a radiator, okay? This, the, the blood runs through the comb and can actually keep the chicken cool. It lets blood run up out of her body into the comb and then heat evaporates off of it and then the cool blood goes back down into her body. It's very much like um, dogs do with their tongues or elephants do with their ears. They flap their ears out and blood runs through their radiators. Now her eyesight. Chickens have pretty remarkable eyesight. It's different than yours and mine. They can see color. They actually can see more color than we do. They see more ultraviolet light. But one of the cool things about their eyesight is that each eye sees a different way. So her right eye is made for seeing up close. So when they, you see these chickens back here, when they're poking the ground, they're looking for those little bugs and whatever they can find in the dirt, that right eye has got super sharp nearsightedness. Her left eye, and this is all chickens, their left eye is made for seeing far distances. That's the eye they look out for predators. So if you uh, see a chicken, if a hawk flies over the yard, okay, you will see the chickens all look to the sky with their left eye, because that's how they see long distances. Crazy, right? So they also, their eyes, have three membranes that can cover their eyes like goggles to protect them from things. Uh, chickens dust bathe. They throw dirt on themselves. They'll dig a hole, throw dirt on themselves. It keeps the bugs off and the mites and the lice and the things that, that aggravate them. Um, but they're throwing dirt up in the air and all over their head and their body. And so they have this membrane that can come over their eye like goggles and it keeps their eye um, clean of the dirt, but they can still watch out for predators. Now, um, the last part of the chicken that is a little more sensitive that, um, that I want to talk about is her, her rear end, what goes on down there, okay? So I'm not gonna show you any up close uh, <laughs> images of that or what goes on. Chickens have what they call a vent, okay? It's what you think it is. It's a nice term, we call it a vent. 
But the vent is where her eggs come from. The eggs will come out of the vent. When they come out of the vent, there is a, a membrane that goes over that egg that protects it and keeps it sterile outside in the heat and keeps it from spoiling for weeks. It's why your great granny left her eggs on the kitchen counter because if they come out of the chicken and they are not washed and not refrigerated, they're actually totally protected and kept sterile for months if you just leave them on the counter. So um, that's a pretty neat thing that happens. Also, um, her poop, okay? Now, the thing about birds generally and chickens also is that they don't urinate. They don't have a separate function for that, okay? Now, the, the benefit for us is that all of the uric acid, all the urea that goes into urine uh, stays in their poop. It's why chickens uh, is fertilizer, their manure is such a high nitrogen fertilizer. It's because all of that, all those sort of nutrients that they're expelling from their body are in one concentrated uh, package, if you will. I collect it actually, and it sounds gross, but I collect my chicken manure, uh, matter of fact, in that bucket, that big old uh, tin right back there, and then I let it cure, and then I throw it in my garden every year. It's like fertilizer gold. So that is your fascinating backyard chicken. Isn't she great? Isn't she beautiful? And all of that going on in this one little miraculous bird. We love them. I've had them for a long, long time. I hope to have them the whole rest of my life. If you have any questions about raising backyard chickens, certainly message me through the Facebook page anytime I could talk all day about them. Check out your chickens. Thanks.